it is chilly out. And I have a short sleeve t-shirt. I guess we had a cold front go through last night because yesterday it was really quite hot. Somebody's barbecuing.
must be nervous going by cars parked on the side of the road. I always anticipate that somebody's going to open up a door right when I'm up to them. Which would not be cool. That would be the end of my biking. Woo! It is chilly out. <clears throat> oh, I can smell barbecuing. Everybody's barbecuing. stays this cold out next time I ride I'm gonna have to wear my jacket Four nine for gas, but four thirty nine nine at that place. Bumps right here. <clears throat> Looks like we're gonna have some weather coming in. Getting a lot more comfortable riding now. I highly recommend that you get a, at least one mirror. I have one on the left side over there, you can see it. It works pretty good. I might just do one uh, one circle today. Today I'm riding with my strobes on and my headlight and tail light. I'm in pedal assist three. Averaging 20 miles an hour, it looks like. There's a couple deer. Deer and a fawn. 
take you back there so you can see them. I hope you can see those deer. It's a mother doe with her fawn. Fawn still spotted. Well, they don't seem to be too concerned about me. Anyway. Hope you like that. So usually uh, fawns are born in May, right around May, sometime during that period. So if it was born in May, that would make it about three months old. It's pretty big for three months old for a fawn. But like I said, you can still see the spots on it. So it's still pretty young. Always fun to see wildlife on a on a bike ride. here.
branches hang in here. I have to kind of duck down. get pneumonia I don't know what the wind chill is but it's definitely less than 65 <clears throat> but since I'm pedaling generating a little bit of heat anyway coming up is a long slow gradual climb So I just want to stop for a second <clears throat> and show you how the I've got the bike configured here. <clears throat> so <clears throat> flashing strobe light there <clears throat> on the handlebar, the headlights on. And that's the first time I've had the headlight on. I thought the tail light would be on. Huh. Interesting. And a flashing strobe there on the back. I have to check that out and see see if that's normal. tip when you're riding you know make sure your shoes are like double tied <coughs> how you doing oh there's a deer just ran across. I don't know if you saw it. Hopefully you saw that. It's probably more than one. It's pretty cool. It's kind of uh, dusk. This is when all the deer move.
28.6 miles an hour down that hill. Let's see what we've got here. So I use, I'm in seventh gear. And I use the throttle to start up. Once I get up a little bit of speed, that's when I start pedaling. Because it's pretty hard to start in seventh gear. Uh-oh. Wow, I smell something really good. It smells like a outdoor fire or a fireplace fire. palm tree lit up. Hopefully you can see that. Now we're going downhill. We've gone 6.6 .6 miles so far. Crazy driver. Still not good on my corners there like that. Those are 90 degree corners and pretty hard to do for me. Now we're gonna go downhill for quite a ways. Now we'll go uphill. That guy went right through a stop sign. It's amazing on these back roads. People don't stop. That guy didn't even slow down, really. Now we're gonna start level. This is a level area, and then we're gonna start going uphill. And here comes somebody walking thank you more comfortable on the bike let's see if I can tell you 72 miles total so far
7.8 miles today. pick up a sidewalk again always interesting Did a bunch of weed whacking today and my the backs of my upper arms are pretty sore as well as my right arm I mean I couldn't hardly lift anything I weed whacked for I think about three hours I had a lot of a lot of weed whacking to catch up on tomorrow I will mow the lawn all right here we go So mainly I use Pedal Assist 3 and I'm going 20 miles an hour, sometimes a little more, sometimes a little less, depends if you're going on up a hill and I am pedaling. Yeah, I just got done with dinner so. little bit more difficult to pedal. And I have started to charge the battery as soon as I get home. So I've gone 8.4 miles and the battery still shows full charge. pedaling the entire entire way so I'm using pedal assist 3 I think when I get home I'm gonna have to drink something warm so you tell me if I'm going 20 miles an hour and it's 65 out, what's a wind chill? About 60? Yeah, I'll go at least 10 miles today. getting much more comfortable on the bike. And right now I have 20 pounds of air in the tires. I think you can go from six pounds <laughs> to 30 pounds. All right. I'm doing a 
of the crossing here. <laughs> Gotta watch your feet. They tend to slip off the pedals. 384.9 for gas in Michigan. That's the average price right now. This you have to be really careful on. It's a busy little shopping center. Alright, now we can crank it up to three. Pedal assist three. This is a fun little curve here. As long as you don't crash. So just so you know, this bike, this is an e-bike, and it's a Himaway, Himiway, Himaway Zebra. It's one of their newest bikes. Right now in 2022, it retails for uh, $19.99. And usually, uh, if you follow my affiliate link, you can usually get a discount of at least $100, I'd say. This bike, they say, will go from 60 to 80 miles on a charge. Has a nice strong battery. And if you, <coughs> excuse me, I believe that it will go at least 60 miles on a charge as long as you're using pedal assist I think if you're using 100% battery it should go 40 miles no problem so would I recommend the Hemiway Zebra e-bike yes sir this bike is really nice I think I told you in another video. On this bike I have one rear view mirror on the left and I purchased some little strobe lights. Oh, white strobes for the front, red strobes for the rear. And you can set them up to flash. Uh, there's like, I don't know, four different patterns at least. And then now since I'm charging the bike up after every ride, I ride with the headlight on too. And that really helps out for people to see you. So on this video, I have my GPS watch recording and and I'm you know recording the video with a GoPro Hero 9 so hopefully sooner or later you know, I smell barbecue again I will, you have to marry the, uh, the two data tracks. So you got one data track or a video from your GoPro and then you have a 
GPX file from your GPS and then there's a software that you use I think it's called VIRB verb that's free software and you're supposed to be able to marry the two data sets and then you can insert uh, different things on the video like speed altitude uh, things like that hello and I have not gotten that to work yet so I have to do a little bit more research first time I tried it uh, I had the GoPro on uh, portrait and it was just kind of weird so this time I'm using the GoPro on landscape and I'll see if I can get the this at least the speed maybe the altitude you know you go up just a little bit here maybe 50 feet I don't know what it is but they are rolling hills sometimes Alright, I've gone 11.1 .1 miles so far. <laughs> 